Um, yeah, live work. We call it a half scrimmage. We have 12 periods individual and then 12 periods of a competitive situation because there's a, a maturity separation that happens when you put the assignment and the co competition of somebody trying to win together with the talent. And so you got to see it all wrapped together every once in a while just to create the, the reality of where somebody's at. And uh, it looks to me like we got 12 guys that are first year players that we got we to gotta get them ready to play. There's a good side of that is that we, we have talent here. The not particularly choosable side of it is that we're going to be playing some people that don't know what they're getting into yet. There's going to be a, going to be a game learning curve for them too. So, but I'm going with the talent. I mean, it's always been the case. And, uh, you know, that this, this little live work today is designed just to see where they're at and sort of set up. If we're committed to that talent, you know, what do we got to do to get them from here to you know, Fayetteville, Arkansas. And then tomorrow, you start two a days. So tomorrow, we start with our first two a days, and uh, you know, it's a it's a little different demand because you just start some overload principle. You know, you start giving them really more than they can easily recover from. You start getting a little, find out who maybe is mentally tough or more structured, and the the the, the, the regimen basically creates some separation too. So. There's a lot of things in here to separate players. Uh, ultimately, you know, we'll have 60-something that'll travel and 30-something that'll go to the, you know, to the scout team or the preparation team, and that's still pretty much out there, to be honest with you. Some I may be very uh, enthusiastic and high on right now may go the other way. Some that I hadn't really paid that much attention to <laughs> may jump up, but that's what really makes it exciting for me because I know every day I come out of here something's gonna some some young man is gonna do something to change their situation. You talk about those young guys coaching last thing, uh been in pads for a couple days now. Yeah. Uh what have you seen out of that class just as a whole? Well it's doing? the best one we brought in, but I, it it's pretty much sets a standard. You know, when you, you build this facility and you you know you gain some national brand, which we've been in the top twenty five probably you know, you know, 40, 44 out of the last 46 weeks or something, I don't know, but we've had some brand, built some brand, in, and, and I think players are starting to identify a high school prospect. We've had three commitments from high school guys before they even go play their senior year. That's never happened before. So we've got a, we've got a rising, but we got a rising expectation too. I mean, that talent is expected to perform. And that's where we're at. I, we're trying to build in these young people a, a performance uh, base. Uh, it's not just playing, it's not just being a gamer, but it's gotta be about being a performer.